While Evernote follows industry standards for the security of our notes, there might be a need to encrypt elements of what we put into the system. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. Today, we will explore how you can encrypt materials in Evernote. If you like these kinds of videos on Evernote and productivity, leadership management issues, I would ask that you hit the subscribe button below and hit the like button. It would mean a lot to me. So I'm often asked if we can really trust Evernote. Can our files be hacked? Can Evernote staff read our notes? Well, as I've said before, Evernote takes security seriously. If you go to their website, you can see the steps that they take. I'd invite you to go to evernote.com slash security. Now, my belief is that we have to trust companies whose reputation depends on not letting hackers penetrate their systems. That's not to say it can't happen. The truth is that user passwords were compromised inside of Evernote back in 2013, which probably explains all of the security upgrades that have taken place since then. That includes many things that they're doing that they prefer not to talk about. So Evernote is probably as secure as any other cloud-based system. There's probably a better chance that your account will be compromised because of a two-week password than a hacker penetrating the actual walls of Evernote's servers. Now, having said that, there are some things I don't store on Evernote because it's information that doesn't need to be there. Like, for example, social security numbers, bank account numbers, passwords, things like that. But occasionally, I do add something that requires a, a higher level of privacy. It's possible to encrypt parts of a document. So as you can see, I just have a dummy note, a client meeting note with some uh, holding text. But let's say this paragraph uh, is especially important and I want to make sure that uh, wandering eyes don't see it. Uh, if I'm working on my laptop on an airplane, for example, or if I'm in a coffee shop or wherever else, this information is too important, so I want to do a further encryption. I can just highlight the text uh, that I want to encrypt. And then once it is highlighted, at least on my Mac, I just press the control button, and it brings up uh, the series of options here that I can cut and copy and I can paste but I can also encrypt the selected text. So it opens up this window, encrypt selected text. It gives me a warning that Evernote does not store a copy of the encryption paraphrase. Uh, so if you forget it, uh, basically you're out of luck. So, you know, this is like your password. So uh, I'm going to say that uh, my password, and this is a pretty lousy one, is, uh, is, uh, the, word, uh, is the word Apple. And it asks me to enter that a second time. And then, uh, as you can see, it's ready to encrypt, but it is willing uh, to give me a clue if I, uh, if I need it. In other words, you know, a long series of passwords, what could this possibly be? So I want my hint to be my favorite fruit. And then it says, do you want to remember this paraphrase until I quit Evernote? All right, so now we have this here. And now I'm ready to encrypt that text. When you come back to the original note, you will see that that portion of the note has now been encrypted. You can only encrypt certain types of content, like this kind of text. Uh, you can also encrypt even if you want your heading and and all of that to be encrypted, uh, you can. But you cannot encrypt uh, files that have images, lists, checklists, tables, web clips, calendar events, tasks. Not ideal, but uh, you know this is a this is a pretty good pretty good start. And I use this fairly often, as it turns out, uh, when I want to keep things uh, with a little extra layer of protection. So now I'd like to see this text again. I'd like to unencrypt it. What I do is I come over to the three dots on the right, click on it, and it will either, depending on which I choose, reveal the encrypted content or decrypt it permanently. I want to reveal it, and there it is. Now, if I had logged off, it would be asking for my password. Let me show you what I mean. 
So now I've been away from my note. I've been doing other work. I come back to this text and it asks me, what is your paraphrase, passphrase or password? Well, we all remember that uh, it's Apple. And now my text is revealed. So if once you um, once you encrypt it, uh, you know if you go away and you come back to it right away, it's not going to ask you for your password or passphrase. Uh, but if you uh, you know go away, work on other things, shut the program down, come back to it, it is going to ask uh, for your your passphrase. You can uh, you can then come and either copy it, you can change it. Uh, you know if I want to change this word in here. I certainly can, uh, and now that has been, that's now part of the new text that's encrypted. I don't have to unencrypt it and come back into it. Um, I can uh, hide the content uh, just as quickly as clicking those three buttons, or I can decrypt it permanently. If you want to decrypt it permanently, it's going to ask again uh, for your passphrase. And then, so now as you can see, it's completely available. It's not highlighted. So now if I'd want to encrypt it, I could uh, highlight again and start that process all over again. So that's how you encrypt text into a note. Now, unfortunately, you cannot encrypt an entire note or a PDF file or anything like that. That's actually one of my pet peeves about missing features at Evernote, but maybe I'm in the minority of folks who could actually use that. The bottom line, is Evernote safe? Yeah, to industry standards. It's probably not a good idea to store anything super secret in Evernote, or for that matter, in any cloud-based service. But if you need a little bit of encryption, you can do that as well. That's it for today. If you have questions about how to use Evernote, send me an email, daveedwards at outlook.com, and perhaps I could answer your question on a future episode. I'm Dave Edwards. Thanks for joining me today.